Hello and welcome to another edition of the Lino Down. And we have a returning guest. Last time he was here, he had an Emmy with him. <laughs> and now this time he's here to talk about the North Shore Media Expo. It's the New Bay. How are you doing? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me on. No problem. Thanks for coming on. What was it, like uh, three, four yeah, three years? Three years ago, yeah. Three years ago, right? That was the last time. Okay, so you got this North Shore Media Expo that that is going on next month. Now, this is something you've already been doing, but over in the South Shore. Mm -hmm. And you're you've decided to bring it over here in the North Shore. I mean, what, uh, what got you to, to bring it all over on this side? Well, just, you know, access to opportunity is, is everything. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm really blessed. Uh, it's my seventh year teaching over at Lynn Tech with, uh, with Don Hussey and, and Nat Hurd. So I love it. I think this is an opp another opportunity for the kids to kind of see, um, you know, the industry in a different light. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember vividly how I was in high school um, and even getting to college about what steps you need to take to get a job in TV production. Mm -hmm. Sometimes being confused, you know, we talk about Emmys and everything. My goal is to have one of my students win an Emmy. Yeah. You know, to the next generation pay it forward. So this is one of the things that we want to do. You know, working with Skills USA, um, and we just want to give access to opportunity. And this is, you know, one of the things we want to do is give those kids that chance to meet different people. Yeah, it's a really important to get these kids involved in media at an early age because this is such a, it's a, it's a tough industry to crack to crack open is so if they get the skill sets early on maybe they'll appreciate it and pursue it as they as they continue on uh, what are some of the stuff that happens during this expo so it's you know it's really cool what we have is um we have four guest speakers from each part of the industry mm -hmm. so we have a, a reporter malcolm johnson from nbc 10 is going to be there um I know malcolm. good good person man good malcolm. brother Malcolm actually lives not too far yeah, from here. Yeah, not too far from yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. So no show person. Uh, we got Mal over there. Uh, we're going to have Rui Lopes. He's a editor from the South Shore Owens Alone Production Company. Does work with a lot of corporate clients. So you know we we'll have someone there from industry in terms of being in front of the camera, behind the camera as a, as, as an editor. We we'll have Cliff Notes there. Cliff Notes. Um, he's a music producer over at Berkeley School of Music. So he's kind of going to give that music perspective of how to get involved. Um, um, and then we're going to have uh, Evelyn, who's a producer. So kind of give, you know, the aspect of what the heck does a producer do? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have those four guest speakers. And then before and after the guest speakers, we're going to have resource tables. You guys are one of those. And so it's going to be an opportunity for people to learn about the different industries. We're going to have, obviously, you know, appreciate you guys being there. We're going to have um, PBD uh, access as well, along with Lynn access. We're going to have... Um, Hunt's video, we're gonna have Raw Arts, okay. the Loop Lab from Cambridge, Mass Film Office, Local 481, which is a video union, and uh, Screen Actors Guild Union. So we're excited, so we just wanna put everyone in one room, mm -hmm. and if the kids have questions of how the heck do you be an actor? How do you get into the video union? Things that I didn't know when I was in college, mm -hmm. um, I really just want to give an opportunity um, to just have them an opportunity to answer questions and, um, and ultimately to speak to someone on one-on-one. On one. Yeah. You know, you see someone on TV sometimes and sometimes might be a little intimidating, yeah. but they're right here, they're you know, at your school, it's a little easier to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one. so we just want to give that opportunity. Yeah, and, and, and in years past, what a, what, what was it like uh, when you did it in the South Shore in years, years past? How was those experiences for those kids out there? Well, you know, I, I give you a story. Um, when one person had, had a chance to talk to a reporter. Her name was um, Crystal Hayes. She's over at, uh, at Boston Fox 25. Hello, Crystal, too. And, you know, she, she talked to her. She got inspired. Now she's working for a local station. Another person now is, uh, is a reporter um, on her own right, so looking to get into different industries. So the opportunity, um, the feedback I got was that it was so good just to speak to someone who's in that industry. Um, you know, listen, the, the fact of the matter is, particularly in the minority community, a lot of people, such as myself, are first generation. Um, so maybe our parents didn't know about the field of media. So it wasn't necessarily broadcasted. So, you know, for example, you know, speaking personally, you know, my, my parents were from Haiti and a lot of times it was, what are you doing TV for? That's not a job that's gonna get paid. And it wasn't their fault. They just didn't know. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, so, you know, we have a lot of, Lynn's a very um, diverse city. Mm -hmm. So, you know, access to opportunities and knowing that you can make a career in TV, have a job and, and be productive. Um, I think it's huge. It's just being able to know that that's possible. 
Yeah, that, I mean, you, you could take yourself for example. For for all that, you won a you won you won a Boston Emmy. <laughs> it, it's it's that's something that they can see. Like, oh, this he he won a Boston Emmy. He's he, he's right here. Right. Like, it's, uh, that's something. That's something for you that you can share with them. It's just you know it's um. Listen, the fact of the matter is, it's, it's a passion. The kids are a passion that, you know, I, I want to be able to help them understand that you could succeed in media. When you see someone on TV as an actor or as a reporter, that's not some fictional dream. That's real. You just got to follow some steps. You got to bust your behind. Yeah. You got to work hard. You know, you got to go some days where, listen, you know, you're going on two, three hours of sleep. You know, some days you forget to eat. Okay, we've had those days, you know, where you're working so much. I mean, I forgot to eat today. Yeah. You know, but, but I want them to understand. You see Stephen A. Smith on, on, on TV. Okay, you see us on TV. This is real. This is something you could do, and here are the steps to do it. So um, that's what it's really all about, is just being able to give them and those opportunities. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and not only with the guest speakers, there, you know, there are, there's also free professional headshots giveaway for this one. And we know how important professional headshots are, and especially if they're free. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, you know, we're going to have a, a beautiful setup um, over there so people can go in. You know, if you're, if you're an actor, what have you, just anything. But a lot of times actors, oh, they want a headshot. They want to know what you look like. So we're going to provide that and then post it on. Um, you know, post on our site for they can download and what have you. So uh, we're gonna have that. We're gonna actually do live podcasts as well. Um, so we have our students um, doing the podcast. Uh, our our host is gonna be one of our juniors from Skills USA, Eli. So great kid. Mm -hmm. um, it's all student run. It's gonna be a student DJ. Oh. Okay, st student host. Um, you know, stu uh, it's gonna be a student podcast. You know, we'll be there in the background, so kind of aiding you know mm -hmm. myself and the other staff, but. Um, Ultimately, it's just an opportunity um, for the kids to really talk to people. Mm -hmm. Now, it's geared towards, you know, that high school upperclassmen. Yeah. I'd say that 16 to that 21 age. Yeah. You know, when you're in college or just graduating college and you're kind of confused about mm -hmm. what I should be doing. You know, how do I get involved in a career? You know, whether junior, senior, high school, you're in college or just getting out of college. Yeah. That age range, that, you know, that 16 to 21, 22 yeah. range. We've all been there. We yeah, graduated yeah, college yeah, yeah. and, you know, made parents nagging agony. When are you going to get a job? When are you going to get a job? When are you going to get a job? So, you know, we want to give the opportunity. Yeah, even if they're, they're just they just started college, this is because it's always good Absolutely. to be ahead of the game, especially that things like this are the type of stuff that they're going to need you know, when they get to their junior, senior years because they're going to need internships. They're going to need some type of right. experience. So coming to stuff like this and touching hands and making that networking connection early, that's the, that's the greatest, the best part part about expos like this just stay ready yeah stay ready for you have to get ready yeah de yeah definitely definitely all right tell us tell us the time of this expo and the date of yes it. so by the way it's free okay it's absolutely 100 free <laughs> everybody so likes free. yep free you know so um so it's at 11 o'clock over at lin tech in the cafeteria from 11 to 11 30 um they have access to you know get headshots talk to the resource tables um from 11 30 to roughly around 12.30 is our guest speakers. They're gonna speak between about, about between 10, 10 minutes each for guest speakers, an opportunity for questions. From like 12.45 to two o'clock, they're gonna have an opportunity again to go to the resource tables to get their headshots. Okay. So the whole event itself is from 11 to two. Um, so it's gonna be an opportunity. We're gonna to look to give away, to have some giveaways. We're gonna make some announcements on that. Mm -hmm. Some free giveaways, you might walk out with something, so which is pretty cool. Um, so it's, it's just an opportunity to, to meet, people and really, really be able to network. Yeah. And I keep telling them, you know, networking is everything. Yeah, definitely. But what's even more important is the follow through. Yeah. So you're gonna meet them on Saturday, or are you gonna follow through with an email on Monday? Yeah. Which is huge. Or, or even that day. Um, right. the cafeteria, is it it's not the annex building cafeteria. No, it's the main building cafeteria. The main, yep. the main building. Okay. Yep. And all COVID protocols we followed. Um, so you know, it's, you know, it would be an event where you know people could enjoy, but we're gonna follow the COVID protocols. All right, man. All right. Once again, if you don't know, March twelfth. It is eleven a.m. until two p.m. Make sure you come to Lintech and check out the Media Expo. There's gonna be some great people there. Great time to networking, especially for you high school seniors and all that, college freshmen and all that, all that great folks. So uh, they wanna reach you, Nube, how can they reach you? So um, they can go to our, our Instagram page, LVTI TV Media. 
Um, they can reach me on the LVTI TV media. They can message me. Like I, I, um, I run the Instagram page. You can message me on, on there. Um, you can call the school. Uh, you can even call my cell phone if you have, if you have an issue you know, about, about the expo, 508-930-4458. You can call the school, ask for Mr. Ratto, or you can um, follow us on our Instagram page and message me through there. All righty. Anyway, thank you once again for coming on and chat with us about this expo. We will be there. We hope to see y'all there too on March 12th. You guys have been watching the Lynn Lowdown. Have a great day.